Many American students were studying abroad for the spring semester and had their time cut short due to the coronavirus. Olivia McLaughlin is a 20-year-old UC Berkeley student who flew home to San Diego from Madrid after learning that the U.S. would be restricting travel due to COVID-19. Olivia was not screened at the airport upon re-entry, but shortly after learning her friend had been that she had been in close contact with tested positive, Olivia then also tested positive. And here to tell us about her experience, Olivia joins us now via FaceTime. And Olivia, first of all, how are you feeling today? I feel okay. I'm definitely a little tired, but I'm not really experiencing any symptoms. I definitely feel good. Uh, what were you, your symptoms beforehand? Were you, have you gotten much better from where you were before? Absolutely, yes. Um, coming back from Madrid and into the U.S., I barely had any. The only thing that really qualified me for testing was I was in close contact with someone that tested positive. Um, but for the most part, these symptoms are very minor. I would compare the sickness to a regular cold. It's not something I would ever call out of work from. Um, had I not been tested positive, I would have just gone on living my, my normal life. Wow. So take us through what it was like leaving Madrid yeah. and trying to get back to the United States. Uh, this process was nothing but hectic. I went to bed around 1 a.m. in Madrid the evening of Trump's travel ban. And I live in an apartment with all study abroad kids. And we were woken up at 2.30 in the morning to screaming outside. There was running up and down the stairs. Um, it was just very chaotic. There was a lot of yelling. And we all checked our phones, my roommates and myself. And we saw that Trump had essentially issued a travel ban saying that we need to be back in the U.S. Um, within 30 hours. Yeah, and Olivia, it's pretty striking because you said you were not screened at the airport and you weren't really showing or feeling any symptoms at that point, and yet now you know you were positive for COVID-19. I mean, do you have any idea how many people you were with standing next to throughout all of that? Absolutely. That is That was just kind of one of the most scary things about it is that I didn't get asked my temperature, or like no one took our temperature. We didn't get asked if we were feeling symptoms. Um, it was still early in the process, so I wasn't super surprised. But that aspect was scary is that there was so many study abroad kids on my flight, all of whom could have coronavirus now. We wish you uh, the very best. Thank Hope you. you get out of quarantine soon there. Olivia McLaughlin, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.